All right, guys. Well, we here we are with our three community members. These guys are all voted in and all brought to us because of their extensive work with the Magic Online forums and their help, great help for the community. I remember, especially when I first got started off, there are a lot of things that can be very, very difficult and daunting about the interface and moving forward. You, yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, let, let's do some introduction. Let's start. Uh, let's actually start over here with you, Victor. Uh, give people your name, your magic screen name. Sure, as if you uh, don't already know me. My name is Victor Bloodgood. I'm Tempest Eye on the forums. And uh, you shouldn't have that name because you should just use your regular name because no one would believe it was yours. I know. It's really <laughs> sounding. Uh, I still need to force him to be the arch enemy. Yeah. I would love to be the arch enemy. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, we should get some free time later. Let's go for it. Uh, I'm invited here because of all the work I do on the forums and with the new players site uh, in the tech help forums and um, just in general uh, helping out players in the interface, getting them comfortable and accommodated to how things work. Okay. Move on over. Callum, please introduce yourself. <laughs> Ourselves. You already told us, told them who we were. True, true. You did give you you give everybody the little uh, primers of, on who you guys were in your profiles, but I still like to get an opportunity to know everybody. And a lot of people are going to watch the videos that might have skipped through the uh, profile. Shame on all of you who did that, yes. by the way. Yes, shame on you. Shame <laughs> on you. You need to read, you need to uh, look at them all. Yeah. Ooh, but, yeah. Sorry. But uh. <laughs> <laughs> but you go you go by Zam. Um, Did I pronounce the M too long? Uh, yeah, probably just, right. just a touch too long. Right? My mistake. Yeah, yeah. that's how I do. I like it. I like it as a sound effect. Yeah. Just like like. Bam. Yeah, in, an, in the old Batman uh, Batman TV show. Zam. <laughs> that's how I refer to you from now on. Then you are officially Zam. <laughs> <laughs> and Joseph. What? No, how about you, Joseph? Uh, so I'm just going to you all right. Uh, similar to Tempest, I mostly just help out in the tech help forums and the new player forum. I try to be kind of level head, uh, uh, voice of reason. <laughs> I, I consider myself that. Uh, um, awesome. <laughs> well, guys, um, oh, no, continue, please. Uh, so, yeah, I got into it with D3, and all the people were like, oh, I hate the interface, and I'm like, you just don't know how to use it yet. So I try to teach people how to use it, and uh, that was insane today because it turns out that most WTCers have no idea how to use Magic Online. I literally had to go through and show almost half of them how to change the sizes of their cards, set their stops, make sure they skip their turns, and put them in the compact card instead of that awkward big card. And, uh, yeah. it, things like Evan Irwin didn't know you could change the size of their cards and use Boolean variables and <laughs> But you got them straight away. Bill was talking to us earlier, Boogie actually. The variables, by the way, are very sexy. Are they now? Yes, this they are. What are they? They are variables that are Boolean. And? <laughs> <laughs> when you search, you can say and or, or not. not. That's all. There we go. Boolean variants for uh, for searches. I understand now. Yeah, okay. Be like a spider and reach, or a spider and not reach. Is there? I I did not know that you there's could use those. So there's a couple because there's complaints. complaints. Yeah. But, but yeah, I, I, we were talking to Bill earlier, and he actually mentioned how uh, how much help you guys have been in getting. Like he had, he's rusty. Like he doesn't play uh, Magic Online a whole lot anymore. But he said he was so terrified that he was going to click through something or just mess up something on the interface. And getting you guys, like having you guys here and helping out, actually felt made him feel considerably at ease. So. It, it, <laughs> oh, Bill, I'm sorry. Bill. Yeah, Bill Stein, your yeah. teammate. <laughs> kind of silly. I've, been, I've been crushed so many times today, I can't keep track of it. It's kind of silly. I was about to come. I'm like, oh, they're rewarding me for coming. And then I got here, I'm like, if they didn't happen here, no one could even play. <laughs> comedy of errors all day long. Oh, man, do I ever not know that what that's like? Well, guys, we're like uh, two thirds of the way through all the play that we're doing. We've actually only got the standard event tomorrow. Um, you guys have had a lot of experiences out here that um, I am assuming for most of you are, you know, first time stuff. Like, uh, have any of you been to Seattle before? No, actually, I have. No? You have, though? I have, yes. 
Well, well, guys, what's the coolest thing that you've been a part of since we got started with this? We've done a few trips, had some tours. We've, I mean, we played a bunch of Magic. I mean, it could be anything that you've done at all that has either stuck with your memory really strongly or something you want to tell people about. The Q and A was worth. It. For me, that was probably the coolest part of the whole entire trip. I mean, play well, obviously. <laughs> Sealed against Mark Rosewater was really cool, and Matt uh, Tamak, that was nice. You know, and, and chatting with like Mike Torian and Ken Nagel and you know all the other guys, that was also very cool. But since Worth is the brand manager for the online stuff, and um, he handles like Magic Online overall, like high level stuff, it was good to talk to him to get his viewpoint so that he could tell us why certain things are the way they are. And that was really, uh, for me, enlightening, to say the least. Nice. Yeah, that was. For me, it's, the best part has definitely been the parts here in the Watsy offices. I mean, the carousel ride was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. <laughs> I love these <laughs> quotes, though. <laughs> but, this, yeah, the stuff here, just even seeing r and I, I personally never thought that I would actually see R&D. I mean, it's just sort of like holy ground. Yeah, you expect it behind like giant steel doors, locks, yeah. and you open the doors and like, you know, a chorus of angels starts singing to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, either that or I pull apart the curtain to find a wizard standing there. Pay no attention! Well, we kind of did. <laughs> uh, no, it's, still, it's, it's still pretty cool. Awesome. How about you, Joseph? Yeah, I have a hard time with questions like these because I love everything. I get really excited. But uh, <laughs> I really like the Carousel Ride. But to be a little different, I'm probably just going to say hanging out with all these guys because being basically only a Moto player, uh, you know, I don't go out and have playgroups all the time. Just, uh, you know, a few like Penn State family playgroups. There's a wonderful group at uh, Blackhaven University. But uh, just the band, like driving, whenever we have to drive to places, you know, we got to go to Pikes Market. But even better was the drive there and the drive back. Yeah. Because <laughs> it was just fun, you know, being in the middle of all the conversations and talking about just awesome stuff. And, uh, of course, playing Magic is great. I got to queue for the first time ever. <laughs> to my first marriage. Yeah. Draft. Um, first time in West Coast. It's pretty insane. Awesome. Uh, I'd be hard pressed to pick a single event. Like, people are like, oh, you could only have one of these. I'd, no, yeah, no, I, I won't do any torture like that and force you guys to come up with anything, so. Yeah, it's too much. Yeah, I mean, and not to mention, it's not supposed to be about a single event. Like, it's supposed yeah. to be about the weekend and the total experience. Hey, what's my favorite event? The community cup. Nothing. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I, hey, talking with the, with the pro players, like, I mean, me and Evan Irwin is pretty cool, like, and, you know, like, like Brad and... And I'm like, and it's amazing. Agreed. This guy is amazing. I am pretty awesome. <laughs> Me and Conley Woods are kicking it real here at the, the, the Watsi home office. Oh, man. But yeah, so, I mean, it, it, it's funny you should uh, mention Brad, too, because... It's Brad is one of those guys who has always struck me as a guy who thoroughly enjoys the game he's and so excited. Yeah, he's oh, he, it's incredible to me. He's a giant child and I, I love when people have that kind of love for the game and get an opportunity to really enjoy it. And I, I mean I, I personally with Magic Online it can, I mean, Magic in Life can do this too, Paper Magic can, but Magic Online I find to be sometimes a terribly frustrating prospect. If for, if for you know, interface reasons or simply because I feel considerably less in control than I normally would in like a live session. And a lot of that I'll chalk up to myself not having a real strong familiarity with the um, interface itself. But I mean, you guys have done such a good job of helping people get to the point when they are able to enjoy the game to the level that like we are having an opportunity to this weekend. So the stuff that you guys do for the community, I, I believe this, this is why we have this is because the job you do needs to be uh, spotlighted. Like you guys do such a good job in keeping everybody ready to play the game and in so that they can enjoy it. I mean, without you guys, a lot of people would have burned their computers in disgust and frustration. So well, magic, magic online, magic in general, imagine such a great game. It's amazing to play. And and I just want to share that with everybody. 
it, sometimes the interface can be difficult and, and hard and unintuitive, but the game just overrides all of those problems. And once you learn to, to deal with the interface in a, in a way so that it's not um, yeah, so that's not in your way. It's just you get to play magic online all the time. You get to trap and you're in seal. You can play commander. You can play. I, I mean, premier events. It's amazing. Popper. Popper it is. How anybody not want to play magic 24/7? Yeah. Um, I kind of want to sleep every now and then. Yeah. All right, 20, 27. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Directly seems good. The excitement of playing magic and get back to Brad. I personify myself as a big kid, and he's just even more of a kid, and I love being around him. He's like, I have a little promo work with books and things with my kids together. <laughs> it's pretty awesome, and uh, similarly, I like to help out. I like to help people just because, you know, I'm like, oh, you can do it this way? Like, that's awesome. Thank you so much. And it's just their excitement just feeds right. I vicariously eat excitement from them. It, it's so confusing. Um, yeah, I know. It's enthusiasm. Just, it, that's a great thing about playing paper magic as opposed to online. You're sitting across the table from somebody, they're having fun, and you're having fun because they're having fun. It's incredible. I feel the same way. Well, guys, once again, I want to thank you for all the hard work you put in. I hope you guys are enjoying the, like, this opportunity to have a good time. I mean, I can tell by the smiles yeah. on your faces. Yeah, you guys are loving it. it. Awesome. Well, yeah. <laughs> Well, you guys certainly deserve it. Like everything that's been happening this weekend would not exist if it weren't for the work you guys have put in. So, thanks a bunch. And ten points up tomorrow. You guys evened it up in uh, the uh, commander match. So, crush them and stand, boys. Go get them. We just gotta go even in our ten points. Exactly. Aaron, every one of those draft packs, I want everyone to get so bad. Yeah. Well, everybody, all you gotta do is, uh, I guess, not lose. So, yeah. It's true. Harder, harder than you think. Yeah. <laughs> when, you, when you're there, you're just there. It's like, oh, I just got to not lose. That's pretty easy. Yeah. <laughs> we'll keep it up, guys. Everybody, uh, I guess, say goodbye. See ya. Goodbye. Bye.